It is so good to be here at Comic Con 2015. I love you. We're gonna play a little rapid fire game. Oh god, I'm so scared. Okay, let's okay. go. Okay. Okay. Worst job you ever had? Worst job that I've ever had was working at um, a restaurant. Pretty much all of them. Even though some of them have <laughs> been amazing, like in terms of management and staff and all of that, but it's like I have butterfingers, so I drop everything and I spill things. It's just not the hand eye coordination thing with not good. <laughs> I worked at a car dealership that I think might have been um, a drug dealer. Yes, because weird people would come in all the time, and I was like, you and you have drugs on you, I think. And they would have alcohol around all the time. So I definitely was like a cover-up for some sort of thing that I was not aware of. Okay. Yeah. Waiter at Bob Evans. Um, I was a delivery driver, and I had to deliver drinks uh, around London. This is before sat-navs, and I'm not good with maps. Uh, I was supposed to finish at 12 noon, and I finished at 9 p.m. And the worst thing about it was I'd left his brand new sort of trolley for lifting the drinks at one of the places. So he had to deduct that from my from my fee. And so I ended up with, I think I ended up owing him money. No. Yeah. Did you quit? It was a mutual. <laughs> um, we came to an, a mutual arrangement. A mutual goodbye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Worst job I ever had was, uh, I would say, being a, a, a lawyer, a lawyer. Now I used to be a lawyer. I qualified and everything. Worked at law firm for two years. It was, it was, yeah. You know, it's probably the worst job compared to acting. Everything's bad compared to acting. Cleaning my own house. <laughs> um, your childhood claim to fame. My childhood claim to fame. I did, a, I did a, a vacation with Derek. TV movie for Disney. I played Roxy Dunbarton, a kind of rich girl, and I guess some kids knew about that. That's maybe that's maybe that's a claim to fame. That's a major claim know. to fame. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. I, I had to wear a wig for a bar mitzvah because I got a really 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 bad perm. And you know, in your eighth grade, and like the cute boys were over there that I really liked, and we were dancing, and then we're spinning around like girls do. They spin and spin because it's like whatever. So off goes the wig. Luckily they didn't see. But the only girl left on the dance floor was some girl that I didn't really know. And so I thought for sure, good, all the popular girls are going to now find out and I'm going to be the laughing stock. But she, she kept the secret. It was cool. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Childhood claim to fame. I, um, so this won't make much sense to you. There was a, a fantastic footballer called Garth Crooks who uh, attended the church that my, my parents and I went to. And I used to, I used to kick a ball outside afterwards. And then the adults would come along and think they were really good. And then we'd never get our ball back. And on this one occasion, Garth Crooks comes out, and I didn't realise who he was. He was like, just give me, give me the ball. And I was, and I was like, no, no. And, uh, and then when I went through my football cards, I was like, That's phenomenal. to put it into context, it would probably be a bit like having a basketball and back in the day, Kobe Bryant going, just give me the ball. And you go, no, <laughs> no. And my I never ball. saw him again, yeah. Oh, wow. Childhood claims friend, yeah. Well, maybe he'll see it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Garth. And if you want to kick, we can do that. We can we can have a kick about whenever. Childhood claim to fame. I did a poster in Thailand with David Beckham. He wasn't actually there. Where he was like, they superimposed David Beckham there with me. This was ages ago. And, um, and they also, they didn't have a good shot of his legs, David Beckham's legs. So they said, I, and I was, I was uh, like late teens, and they said, I had quite nice quads back in the day. And they said, can we use your legs for, to, to use as David Beckham's legs for this, this advert? So I've been David Beckham's legs. David. Wow, that's a big one. Yes, claim to fame. Um, and if you could make out with one person at Comic Con. <laughs> um, Amelia Clark's Dragons. All right. Okay, one person that you want to make out with at Comic Con. <laughs> I'm gonna pass. <laughs> I got a list. Favorite swear word. <laughs> uh, wow, there's so many good ones. Uh, I, I <laughs> we'll pass. We'll pass. We'll pass. I'm gonna go with F U C K. Yeah. Spell that one out. Just you know, it feels. <laughs> feels good. Favorite swear word is probably, I don't swear a lot, but if I do, it's probably like cock. <laughs> wow, that was, that was such a straight face too. Yeah, it's probably like cock. Okay. 
Yeah. Just because it's just, you know. It's yeah. Like a hearty word. Like yeah, it's just like, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's, it it kind of, it makes me feel like that's a strong word, but actually most of the time a cock is not that strong. So you're like, it's probably not a good swear word. It's quite a floppy swear word. You're amazing. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, balls, I say balls a lot. So when I'm auditioning, uh, I've, I've been in audition rooms where I've mucked up a line and I, I just say, oh, balls, can I do that again? Or if I'm on a, doing a take, balls, can I do that again? Balls, I don't know. You're why. lucky your accent you can get away oh, with. Oh, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Well, well hopefully, hopefully. Um, your childhood crush? Michael Jackson, Madonna, <laughs> Corey Haim. <laughs> this guy called named Joe, I'm not going to say his full name because, you know, an anonymity. But uh, in grade one, that was so we were six. We had something going on. He gave me a candy cane and a ring. I gave him a picture of myself. He gave me the picture back, but I got the ring. So I bet he wishes he had that picture now. You might want maybe, yeah, yeah, because you know, so beautiful at six years old with my missing teeth and everything. But. Okay, which celebrity would you like to be stuck in an elevator with? Oh, can I have a the one that's that's dead? Yeah. Nelson Mandela. Yeah, because to, I mean, to go through what he's gone through and just, yeah. To have his outlook still. Yeah. In terms of people like Christian Bale, I wouldn't mind. I mean, it'd be quite, it, you know, I'd, I'd love to just have a chat with him. He'd probably be stressed out because we're stuck in an elevator with a guy who's just staring at him going, oh, God, it's Christian Bale. And I'd be saying it out loud, it's Christian Bale, it's Christian Bale. It's Christian Bale. <laughs> and it'd just be me and him. But um, other than that, uh, you know, um, yeah, Angelina Jolie would be all right. You know, we can we can, we can, can have a little chat, I'm sure. And okay. uh, you know, Brad, how's Brad? Yeah. Uh, things aren't going that well? OK, come in. Uh, David Jesse. Really? Yeah. Interesting why. We'd stay alive. We'd figure it out. At the moment, Killian Murphy. Oh. Because I just, if I can be near him, maybe all of his acting genius will just osmosisly, you know, throw, just, he's a, a, a genius. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant work. Me. Just kidding. <laughs> um, oh. The cast of Containment, do you know them? They're hot and fabulous. Like yeah, the they're hot. Well, with us, it surely is. Channing Tatum. I did just see Magic Mike Triple X or Double XL. I didn't sit still in the theater. That's all I gotta say. Okay, favorite cereal. Um, Count Chocula. When I was a kid, it was Captain Crunch. Now it's like all the healthy, boring stuff. But Captain Crunch, Lucky Charms. Yeah, I can revisit those for sure. Favorite cereal is Alpen. Do you have Alpen out here? It's like a muesli. I like um, corn pops, but it's different in the states. Okay. I'm Canadian. Okay. It's totally different in Canada, but both are good. Okay. Yeah. Favorite cereal? Uh, it's you know uh, like shredded wheat, like this sort of like so, sort of the the yeah. is it shredded or shreddies? Sorry. That's you know, I like it. That's why because <laughs> you can you can add stuff to it. You can have whatever you want. So that's my favorite cereal. You can mush it up or keep it solid, you know, depending how much milk you put in. See, I'm really into it. Lucky Charms, can't eat it, kills me. So good though. So magically delicious. And finally, your best Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. Get out! That's all I got. I'll be back. <laughs> that was so awful. Not um, bad. Comic Gun, I love you. Still bad, whatever. <laughs> That's pretty good. Are you eating the children's lunches? Oh, don't ask. <laughs> That was good. Don't ask me about that. I uh, I do. I'll be back. I don't, what, how, what's your What's your impression of him? Do it, and then I'll do it. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. No one's. I want to pump you up. I want. I want to pump you up. Okay. Is that how's that? You still win. Mine was really bad. No, I don't know. I stole your lines. Ah! Oh, give me some cover. Ah! Get to the chopper. It is so good to be here at Comic Con 2015. I love you. That was so good. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> You're a really good actor. <laughs> click to the left to check out the cast of Containment, spill some show secrets, and click to the right to check out Jennifer Lawrence talk nudity at Comic Con.